while reading one of the Alma Linux forums, the question came up about installing a RPM that does not exist in the default repositories. I'm going to walk you through the steps of downloading the source RPM and installing that RPM after you've recompiled it. So I was looking at the Alma Linux forum and a question came up about installing this package, SHN tool. Um, apparently the user couldn't find it um, even in the EPL repository. And another user responded about uh, compiling it. And then I found a way to compile it also. So I, I also posted it in there. And what I do is I go to um, a site called packages.org, pkgs.org, and I type in that package that I'm looking for, the SHN tool. And then it comes back with all the distributions that it can find that has a package already built and it's in the existing repository. But you'll notice that um, Alma Linux is not listed, CentOS um, is not listed, um, even Rocky Linux is not listed here. Now, if there was a package here for CentOS or Rocky, uh, most likely I could take that same package and install it on Alma Linux. But in this case, there's no package available. But um, since um, Alma Linux is built on Red Hat, uh, Red Hat is built on Fedora, um, I wanted to try the Fedora package, and I'm picking 35 here because Rawhide is like the cutting edge, and it's the latest version of everything. So I'm going to try the latest, I guess you would say, version that might possibly work, which is Fedora 35. When I went into Fedora 35, it lists the x86 packages that it has available. And it also lists this AA Arch version, which wouldn't work. So I'm looking at this x86 version. I click it and read some information on it. Uh, one of the things that it tells you down here is it has uh, requirements, which are dependencies. And the dependency that it want is glibc, and it wants this specific version. Now, if I go to my Alma Linux system, which is um, an 8.5 Alma Linux version, if I just download that RPM, Okay, so if I try to install that RPM, it's looking for some dependencies, which are basically this glibc, because it was built uh, for Fedora 35. Now, if I go back to the page I was on before, there's an option down here to download the source package. And what I'm gonna do is download and install that source package. I'm gonna copy this here. And I put all my source code on what I call a build server. It's got all the tools that I need on it. So I'm going to connect to that box, which is just there. I'm going to use wget to get that file.
So now I have that file on my local build server. And this server is just an Alma Linux version 8.4. Um, but you're going to need to install all the development tools so that you can compile the source RPM. Now I've gone through an installation here and all I installed were the development tools. So if you do a DNF group install development tools and you have to put development tools in quotes. Um, there's another package group down here called RPM Development Tools, but apparently it's not needed. So in order for you to install the development tools, I went to Google and I searched on how to compile a source RPM. One of the first entries here is for the CentOS wiki. Uh, CentOS will work the commands in CentOS will work exactly the same in Alma Linux. There's some information here. It talks about where to get source RPMs. And basically it says, it says you can just run RPM dash dash rebuild and then the name of the package. So I followed those instructions. And I did a RPM dash dash rebuild. And the name of the package here. Oh, I'm sorry, it's RPM build. RPM build dash dash rebuild and the name of the package. And it goes through and it builds the package for it. And then it tells you that it wrote the package into the, and it tells you the path that the package is in. And it also wrote two other packages. Now this package that I'm compiling apparently does not have a bunch of, of uh, dependencies. So if you if you're trying to compile something and it lists some type of error, it's because you have to satisfy those other dependencies. But uh, this particular package, again, doesn't have a lot of uh, dependencies. So if I go look in the folder where it says the files are, it has compiled the RPM and it has renamed it to a EL8 extension. And there's also an option within uh, rebuilding those packages where it talks about um, using a spec file, which is here. But it says you have to you have to install the source package first. Um, I did that as well, and it basically does the same thing. So if I go back to my roots, the source package is there if I install it. Now let me get rid of uh, let me get rid of the RPM build folder that's there. Okay, so the RPM build folder is gone. So if I install this source RPM package, since I'm running on a container, it's telling me that this user does not exist and it's using root, so that's fine. But what it does is it creates uh, this RPM build folder. And in there, it creates a folder called specs. And there's a spec file that they talked about earlier. 
So now that I have that spec file, I can do a rpm build dash ba and then the name of the spec file. And it basically does the same thing. It goes in, it compiles, and it builds the actual source. Well, it builds the binary from the source. And again, it's writing to the same directory. It's writing to the RPM build RPMs, and then there's the RPM file that we want. So when we go back to our we copy that RPM onto the system that we want, and you can copy it to any other Alma Linux system. You can then install that RPM. But we don't want the source, we want the EL8, which is that one. Install. Yes, to install. Then it goes ahead and it installs it. And it installs all these binaries, which are the files that were needed by the original installer. So that was a very simple source rpm that didn't have a lot of dependencies so it was very easy to recompile and then install in another system um, you can use these steps um, for any source rpm that you can get your hands on just remember that if there are dependencies within that rpm you have to fulfill those dependencies thanks for watching like and subscribe.